Hello everyone, we are UT's Center for Community Engagement. If you don't already know, the CCE provides resources for students, faculty, staff, or any other group or individual on campus that wants to get more involved in our community, specifically through volunteering and service learning. This right here is our website, and please feel free to visit at this URL if you would like to know more about what we do or get involved. Today, we're gonna to talk about one of our favorite resources for making volunteering feel easier and more accessible. This platform is called GivePulse. And on this website, you can find organizations and agencies in the Austin area. You can sign up for volunteering opportunities by yourself or with your friends, and you can track the impact that you are making on the community. So let's talk about how you can use GivePulse. Okay, let's get started. So how do we create an account on GivePulse? If you have a UTE ID and password, this process is really easy. Once you're on GivePulse.com, you can go to the top right corner and click sign up. Then choose single sign-on and find our university. So the University of Texas at Austin. It should pop up, you can choose it, and then click create account. You will then be directed to a page where you can fill out your UTE ID and password. And then once you do that and click sign in, you will then be directed to the multi-factor authentication through Duo. Alternatively, you can go straight to utexas.givepulse.com and again, go to the top right corner and click sign up. You will then, again, fill out your UTE ID and password, and sign in and complete the multi-factor authentication. Once you have your account, it's really easy to log in. You just go to the same place on the website, click log in and fill in your UTE ID and password. So you've joined GivePulse, what can you do now? Um, one option you can do is click on the get involved button. This Get Involved in button allows you to browse for volunteering opportunities in your area, find an organization or volunteer opportunity related to your specific interest, or you can also join a group and make an impact collectively. So you can either search, you can then search for either groups, which are volunteering opportunities posted by groups, or you can specifically search by groups, which are UT organizations and community partners if you know that there's a specific organization or like student org that you want to volunteer with. Um, so make sure that you have the right option selected for which you want to look for. So right now we're on events, but then if you want to go by group, you can switch to the groups tab with the button up there. So now we're by group. We're going to go back to events. And then um, also, just to let y'all know, GiftPulse uses different terms for the different types of organizations on GiftPulse. So if you see the word subgroups, these are student orgs at UT. You might even see groups you're in. Um, you can join these Give Pulse pages if you're in these groups or if you wanna volunteer with these groups. Um, however, these groups don't really post volunteering that much that often. And if they do, a lot of the times it is reserved exclusively for their members or it's some sort of fundraising event. Um, but there, and then these pages are also additionally mainly to track members hours. So members of these student works. The other groups on Give Pulse are nonprofits and community partners at UT. These are referred to as affiliates and groups on the events page. Um, these are groups that will post volunteer events that you can join. You can also join these affiliate community partner groups. So if you're really involved and you're volunteering a lot with them, you can join their groups. They're just, it's different than a student org and they mainly exist to post and track volunteering, whereas student orgs is more to just track their members volunteering. Um, so yeah, and then there's a lot of ways you can search. Um, one opportunity, if you wanna do something really close, you can um, pull up a map even, and it'll show ones near you. You can change your zip code up here. Um, you can change the distance. So yeah, and you can also do things by emergencies, date, the type of volunteering, if there's an age limit, causes that are important to you, skills required, anything like that. Um, and then a new thing that they introduced during COVID was you can do virtual remote. So if you just want to see virtual or remote activities, you just you don't want to do stuff in person just because of COVID, this will pull up or virtual remote volunteering opportunities only like these. It's a lot of street youth ministry of Austin. They do a lot of online stuff. Um, and then you can select as many or as few filters as you like. 
Um, and then once you select something, so say we only want to do stuff on weekdays, you press apply and you just go down through all of them if you want to edit however you want to edit. And then you can tell which ones are actually applied by that they turn blue. Um, and then you can also go to the UT Austin Give Polls page. So that's just UT Volunteers. And you can scroll down and look at events posted specifically by the UT Austin affiliates and subgroups. So these are organizations that UT has deemed good to volunteer with with students or organizations that we have deemed are actually student organizations under UT. So you can scroll down here and these are all the events of our affiliates of the University of Texas. And this is similar to where it's the same, more sort, all of the same. Um, and then if you find an event you're interested in, so say the storage organization, you click on it. Um, and then you hear down here, you can read more about the event requirements, causes, a few of the people you meet. It'll come up with the actual day and everything. And then you can press register. And you have to log in with your, in order to register with UT, you need to log in with your EID. Um, and then you may have to fill out some information or you may not have to, depending on the organization and if you volunteered with them before, what the specific event is, stuff like that. And then if you need to cancel or update registration, you can do that on your dashboard, it will show up. Um, and then say you would like to join one of these groups, Some of them you are allowed to join. So let's look at the Special Olympics Texas and see if we can, so you select become a member. And then if they have any requirements or anything, they'll pull up a page that say that for you to fill out or they'll link a form for you to fill out. And then usually you'll, if it's not directly on Give Pulse, you'll then later email the form to the administrator. So if there was a form that I had to fill out, I would fill it out and then email it to on this page, Angelo Weiss. So that's how on UT's Give Pulse page, you search for events and groups. Thank you. So now that you know how to find some volunteer opportunities on Give Pulse, let's talk about what happens when you're done volunteering. Give Pulse allows you to keep track of and share your hours. On Give Pulse, impact is used as an umbrella term to describe all potential forms of community engagement. An impact can be described as funds donated, funds raised, goods donated, hours trained, and, as is most often the case, direct service hours. So how do you add an impact? In the top right corner, click on Hi, Your Name, and in the drop-down menu, choose Add Impact. You will then be directed to a page where you can find the name of the organization where you donated your time, your money, goods, etc. to. If the organization is not already on Give Pulse, you can click on that blue Can't Find It button. Here, fill in the name and the location of the organization, as well as the verification box. Fill in the name and the email of someone at the organization who can verify that you donated or volunteered. They will then receive an email and be able to verify your impact with a quick one-click response. You can also fill in the rest of the Add Impact form, but we'll get back to this in a moment. If the organization is already on Give Pulse, go back to that Search Groups tab and find the name of the group here. Don't look for the event name, but find the group name. For example, if I volunteer with the Health Start Foundation, I can search for them, and in the results, find their name. Once I click on the organization, I'll be brought back to that Add Impact form, which I can fill out. For impact type and measurement, there are a few different options. I can fill in the number of hours I volunteered, I can fill in the number of US dollars donated, describe the goods donated, and describe the impact of the research. There are many different options here and please feel free to customize this form to your needs. In the About Your Experience box, you can write your experience, provide some reflection and feedback, and type in any personal notes. 
You can also add pictures or any other documents that are relevant. Lastly, in the sharing and privacy settings, you can choose which groups you want your impact to be visible to. And then you can select whether your impact should be private or public to other users. Don't forget to hit the green Add Impact button at the bottom of the screen. If you're volunteering long-term with the same organization and or you want to apply for the President's Volunteer Service Award, or the PVSA, you can add a timesheet for an organization on GivePulse. At the top of the Add Impact form, you can find that white Add Timesheet button. Click on it, and then you can fill out your timesheet. Include information about a verifier, title it, and then add the date and the hours for each shift or event. You can also include a description of your activities. When you're done, don't forget to hit that green Add Timesheet button at the bottom of the screen. You can also add a timesheet for an organization that's not already on GivePulse. Again, click on that blue Can't Find It button, and then click on the white Add Timesheet button at the top of the screen. Here, you can fill out the Add Timesheet form for an organization that's not on GivePulse. Don't forget to include the name and the email of someone who can verify your hours. Once your timesheet has been made, you can find it anytime by going to My Activity and clicking on Impacts. There, you'll find your timesheets and you'll have the option to edit them. Once all of your timesheets have been verified, email us at utcce at austin.utexas.edu and we can help you apply for the PVSA. Okay, so fundraising on GivePulse. So not only can you use GivePulse to track volunteer hours, you can also make an impact by donating to a fundraiser for an organization on GivePulse. You can find fundraisers by going to the Get Involved at the top, and then make sure you're on the Events tab. And then there's different filter options. Go to Type and select Fundraiser and Apply. So it pulls up a ton of different fundraisers that you can donate to. Um, select one that you're interested in. So I'm just gonna click on mobile loaves and fishes. So to click on it, you can just click on the blue lettering and then it'll pull up and you can read more about it, about the causes, the goals. Some of them will have things written down from different people who've donated about why they donated and stuff like that, or just trying to get other people to donate and get other people excited. Um, so you will see that there's a donate now button. So you can click on that and then you will select an amount. You can put a specific amount to that suggested or do other and fill out whatever you want. Um, payment details. So fill out your address for the payment and your credit card number. And then if you want to save the card and you want to help other organizations and further your impact in the world through fundraising, then you can save it. Um, you can keep your don donation anonymous or not. You can make, if you want it to be an honor or a memorial gift for someone who's passed away. And then additionally, there are fees for donations for processing. You can go ahead and cover those fees if you want and further help the organization. If you don't cover it, the organization will still get the money, but they will have to pay the processing fee. You'll have to select that you're not a robot and do one of the one of the little surveys, and then you can press donate. And that's how you donate to a fundraiser on GiftPulse. Now let's talk about how to navigate your GiftPulse account. We're currently on the Get Involved page, where you can see events that you can register for and volunteer at, along with groups that you can get involved with in your community. When you click on the UT logo in the top left corner, that's going to always take you back to the UTCCE main GivePulse page. And on this page, you can see subgroups, which are UT student organizations or departments or any other group on campus, along with affiliates, which are our community partners. Here, under the events box, you can see different events that are hosted by our affiliates. When you go to the top right corner, you'll see a lot of different drop down menus. This little envelope on the far right corner is your inbox. If you message any organizations or other GiftPulse users, this is where you'll find those conversations. If you click on the My Activity drop down menu, you can see the groups and the classes that you are members of, and you can also visit Impacts. Impacts is where you can print out a summary or a transcript of your impacts. 
You can also go to your registrations where you can see a calendar overview of your past and future registrations for events. If you go to donations, you can see all of the fundraisers that you have donated to. And if you go to insights, you can see these handy little graphs that will show you your engagement over time. If you go to hi your name, you'll see a drop down menu and see your dashboard which will also show you an overview of your registrations for upcoming events and past events, your memberships for classes and groups, and your messages. You can also go to your profile, and this is where you can see an About Me section along with your causes that you support and some skills that you might have. You can edit your profile anytime by clicking on the screen Edit Profile button or going to your account. That should be everything you need to know to get started on GivePulse. If you have any other questions, then please feel free to contact us at utcce at austin.utexas.edu or message us on GivePulse. We'd be happy to get back to you and help you out with all of your GivePulse needs, and we have plenty of resources and how-to guides. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day!